What's up guys, RK here with another monthly update video of what we've been doing here in Waikiki in beautiful, amazing, fantabulous, fantastic, scrumptulescen Hawaii. So uh, Easter, we actually challenged the people in our church, which are mostly homeless people. We have a couple that are homeless. We challenged them. The number one problem in the world that's killing more people than anything is water. Every 20 seconds a kid dies in this world as a result of bad water. So I challenge every single one of them to give to get clean water to someone on this planet. And I said, Look, if you go find a quarter, give it. If you find a dollar, give it. Every single person in the church I wanted to give to get clean water to the world. And last month, we were able to give a hundred people clean water for the rest of their lives. And this week I got the video from Impact Nations in Uganda. They're actually able to start the water project this week. So that was pretty awesome. And in home news, this last week I finally started a new job. It was actually pretty amazing. Um, about, I don't know, probably about six weeks ago to two months ago uh, we got a message that we were going to be losing about 90 to 95 percent of the the financial support that we've been getting to continue to work here in in Hawaii and so it actually was on my birthday so I was trying to stay positive and not get worried and do all the stuff Jesus said to do but I was a little bit freaking out on the inside I mean as you can imagine and that afternoon, I got that message in the morning, that afternoon, I got offered a job working with the network of churches here in Hawaii called Transformation Hawaii that focuses primarily, I mean, it's basically like a grassroots movement of followers of Jesus here that are committed to just transforming the state of Hawaii and the world. I mean, the group of people that I'm working with are just amazing and awesome. And so basically, I'm the communications director. I'm doing all the web stuff, all the skills that I have in the interwebs. I'm using that to help them um, communicate with each other, communicate with the, the movement, and um, create ways to start teaching and training people how to do the stuff that, that they're doing. So that's been fun. And finally, in the back porch. So last year at a big conference called Transform Our World, I was asking the people in the New Life City International Network to pray for us because we were trying to figure out how we can start a feeding program for the homeless that's run by the homeless. And, and as they were praying for me, um, actually Hayden from New Life City in Santa Fe sent me a message and says, hey, I just saw a picture of you guys starting these community gardens and then you taking that produce and selling it in farmer's markets as a way to teach the homeless skills and get them um, money and whatnot. The same exact time that I read that message from Hayden, I looked up on the screen and the speaker in this little breakout session was like, and we're starting to try to start these community gardens that are, you know, teaching the, the, the homeless skills and getting them healthy food and and uh, and and helping them to sell the, the produce in the farmer's markets. So, I mean, I took that as a word from God. And when I shared it with the pastors network here, one of the pastors came with me and says, hey, you should look into hydroponics. So as I began doing the research, I, I ran across something called aquaponics. I, aquaponics is the combination of aquaculture growing fish and hydroponics, which is growing plants without soil. You combine the two, the, the fish make poo that fertilizes the plants, the plants clean the water and then put it back in a fish tank. And it's just a recirculating system. It uses one-tenth the amount of water as traditional farming, and it actually grow, grows plants something like three to eight times as fast. And so we've been creating these systems in our apartment <laughs> and so we have one system in the front so it's our tea garden it's full of all kinds of uh, mint and peppermint and candy mint and some lettuces and things that we can use in uh, in teas and for the fun in the back we created two vertical gardens it's like uh, each standing one is equivalent of a three by five foot grow bed that was horizontal and on the bottom it's got all kinds of little places for for plants. Then on the other side, we have a 55 gallon barrel that I found and we just sawed a bunch of holes into it, used a heat gun and you create all these little pockets. And so the, the barrel garden has 72 holes that you can put plants in. And then in the middle, you have this four inch tube that's actually a worm composting bin. So you're taking your kitchen scraps, 
and the worms are composting it and then it's actually uh, watering the garden from the the liquids from the compost and so that is what's going on over here in the Castillo clan so we just want to say thank you thank you to Dr. Pepper for supporting us or for me supporting Dr. Pepper thank you guys for supporting us we love you keep praying for us and if you're in Albuquerque we are trying to come home for Christmas so hopefully we're able to come see you and if you're in Kansas City we're trying to come for the One Thing Conference in January so pray for us and we look forward to hearing from you soon. All right, love you.